Hey dear friends, this is Tatiana and if you are tired of the same set of Oculus Quest 2 environments, you'll be happy to find out that there are tons of different custom environments created by users which you can download to your headset for free using SideQuest. I will not explain how to set up SideQuest as there are plenty tutorials online including mine showing how to do that, I'll include the link in the description, but in this video I will show you how to find, download and install any custom homes on your Oculus Quest 2. This is gonna be exciting because you'll be able to spice up your Oculus home and in my next video i will also share with you 20 custom environments which are my favorite i will link that video in the description also when it's ready so don't forget to subscribe to disco vr so that you don't miss it and of course to see more fun and informative vr content so if you're ready let's go When you've got your side quest set up, connect your quest to your PC via USB-C cable and make sure that you've got this green dot at the top left corner that means that you're connected. Click on the Games tab and from there find and click on the icon that says Oculus Homes, which looks like the Oculus logo with a roof above it. This is the tab where you can download your custom environments from and this is truly one of the hidden gems of side quest. You'll find over a hundred custom environments there and when you click on any one of them that you like, you'll see that there's multiple links for you to download it. We'll talk about the installation process in in just a minute, but first I want to show you that Quest Homes also has a Discord server where you'll find answers to frequently asked questions, tutorials on how to create your own custom environments, and additional custom environments posted by different users that might not be on SideQuest yet. So generally, there might be a larger selection of environments there, even though it might be just a little bit more difficult to search there. And now let's get to the installation. When you click on the environment you like, either in SideQuest or in Discord, you will see multiple files. They are named after four default Oculus environments. Classic Home, Cyber City, Space Station, and Winter Lodge. When you install custom environments, these four default environments will serve as shells for the custom ones, meaning that first you will need to uninstall the environment that you want to use as a shell for your custom one. For example, I will put on my quest and go to environments, and there I will uninstall the default environment called Winter Lodge. After it's done, you can still see the thumbnail here, but the environment shell is empty. Now, in SideQuest, you will need to download the version of your custom environment, which has the name of the default environment that you have just deleted. In my case, it's Winter Lodge. Each one has a regular version and the silent one. That's because almost all custom environments come with audio. And if you don't want any audio in your environment, simply download the silent one. If you are downloading your environment via SideQuest app, if your Quest 2 is connected, all you will need to do is click on this file and it will automatically get installed on your Quest. If you download it from the Discord server, when you click on the file that you need, it will download on your computer first. And from there, you will need to manage manually install it on your Quest 2 via SideQuest. Simply click on this icon that says Install ABK file in the top right corner and select the custom environment. Again, remember to remove the default environment from your Quest first before sideloading the custom one. The first time you put on your Quest after sideloading the environments, you will see a message from Oculus warning about piracy. They always send this warning if there are any changes made to the default settings, but installing custom homes will not damage your Quest in any way. They are very easy to restore and in over a year, there has not been a single case of anyone getting banned because of custom environments, so feel free to dismiss this message by clicking on cancel. And that's about it! When you put your quest and go to environments, you will see that the Winter Lodge thumbnail has not changed. However, if you open it, you will see your new environment. I absolutely love my bikini bottom home, and as a child, I've always wanted to go to Krusty Krabs and hang out with SpongeBob, and it's so fun to be here. What's cool is many of the environments have animated elements, like here you see this animated jellyfish outside. Side, and of course it has the signature SpongeBob music on the background. Restoring your environment is very simple. All you'll need to do is uninstall the environment which you used to sideload your custom home and after that, install it again and the original environment will be installed automatically. I love how easy it is to reverse these transformations so you're not making any permanent changes to your quest, making these manipulations perfectly safe. So overall, you can have up to four custom environments installed at a time, using classic home, cyber city, space station, and winter lodge environment shells. Basically, you'll need to remove one of them if you'd like to install a new environment. It's a little bit limiting, but it's still a great way to add variety to your Quest homes if you're getting a bit tired of the default ones. Some custom environments are 3D rendered and some are made from 360 degree photos or videos, so there's a lot to discover there. In my next video, I will share with you 20 custom environments from games, movies, and just some really awesome locations which are my favorite. So make sure to subscribe to Disco VR and turn on the notifications because you don't want to miss it. Also, remember to leave a like if you found 
found a value in this video and let me know if you would like to try custom environments on your Oculus Quest 2. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and as always, happy gaming.